In this video, I am going to show you how to create your own Instagram bot using Python where you will be able to follow or unfollow someone, send messages, like and comment on a post, upload photos or videos automatically just by writing few lines of code. So let's get started. So coders, make sure that you have Python installed into your system and one editor where you will write your Python code. Here I'm using VS Code Editor and I'm using Python version 3.10. I've given the links in the description for installing Python and VS Code so you can go through that. So now let's go ahead. I have opened my VS Code already and I'll select the language as Python. And I'll just save this file on my desktop with the name bot underscore Instagram and save. We are going to use a library named Instabot. And by using this package, we are going to create our Instagram bot. So now we'll have to install it. For that, I will write the command pip install Instabot. Since I have already installed this, I'm getting requirement already satisfied. So now in this package, there is a class called bot. We need to import that class. In order to do that, I will type from Instabot import bot. There you go. Now we have to create the object of this class because inside this class, there are different functions that we will be using to automate our Instagram. So I'll create an object called my underscore bot equal to bot. So now the object is created. Next is that we have to log in because that's the very first thing that we will have to do. We need to log in into our Instagram account, right? So in order to do that, there is a function named login inside this class. So I will write my bot login and you will have to pass the username and password to this function. So I'll write username equal to coding 101 with Steve comma and password equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Just kidding. So that's it. By this, we will be logged in into our account. Now, the very first operation that we are going to see is how to follow someone or how to follow your friend on Instagram. So let me just type follow a user. Okay. I'll do my bot follow. This is another method by which I can follow anyone. We will have to pass a username to this method. So let us go to Instagram and select some random user. Okay, so I'm here. I had already searched for some user. Let us see this user Python app projects. I'll copy this and paste it over here. That's it coders. Only by doing this, you can follow your friend or anyone you want. Now you must be thinking, okay, this was for just one account. What if I want to follow multiple accounts, right? We'll see that also. I'll write follow multiple users. Again, my bot follow underscore users. By this method, we can follow multiple users. And as you see, you have to pass a list of user IDs or usernames. So in Python, this is how we make a list. So I'll come back on Instagram and just copy two or three users. For now, I can select any account because anyways, I will be showing you how to unfollow. So it's done. By this, we can follow multiple users. Now let's go ahead and see how to unfollow. You know, we feel bad when we see that we are following so many people, but only few follow back, right? And if the list is big, then it's a hassle to go and just check who are not following back. But don't worry, we have something. So I'll just type unfollow the non-followers. Yes, my bot period. There is a method called unfollow non-followers. That's it. When we run this code, we will be unfollowing all those who are not following us back. Fair enough. One more thing. I'm showing you all these operations one by one all together without running them. There is a reason behind it. 
actually if you keep running it continuously then instagram will come to know that it's a bot and they will block you so that you will never be able to run this file again that is why i am avoiding to run this file again and again so we are just writing all the operations at once and we will run this file only one time and that's it if you want to run this file again and again then you will have to run this after hours say for example if you run this now then after one hour you can try to run it again or maybe after three or four hours you can try to run it again in that case it will be fine but since i'm making this video i have no choice than to just write all the operations at once and then run it okay so let's go ahead now we'll see the most interesting part that is uploading a photo so how to do that i'll just type upload an image again my bot period there is a method called upload underscore photo you can see there is also another method called upload video but for now we are using upload photo we will have to pass the path of the image so my image is stored on desktop itself so i don't have to write any path i'll just write the image name pytube.jpg and i can also put a caption so caption equal to that's it and by this the image will be uploaded with this caption now next is how to send a message to anyone send message to user my bot there is a method called as send underscore message using this we can send a message to anyone so we'll just type in the message hello steve how's your new channel are people subscribing you know what i mean okay so the second parameter now is the username so i will type the username of my other account so coders by this i can send any message to anyone now let's see how to like a post like a post my bot like underscore user we need to pass the username to this function and then we will have to pass the amount that is how many posts do you want to like of this particular user so i'll write the username and i will say amount is equal to 2 so i will be liking the last two posts of this particular user okay now i want to comment comment something on the post so how to do that for commenting on a post there is the function called comment you see but now over here as you can see it takes a parameter called as media id media id is simply the id of the media whichever the post is you require the id of that particular post and we need to pass that id to the function in order to get the media id there is a function named get last user medias and this function as you can see it returns the last number of posts specified in count see this function is going to take two parameters that is user id and a count count is the number of posts or the latest number of medias that you would want to get okay so now we'll have to get the user id don't worry it's very simple there is another method called as get user id from username so you have the username already that means you can get the user id from the username so i'll pass the username to this function and then we'll get the user id of this username if you can get the user id then you can get the media id also and if you get the media id then you can pass it to the comment function now i'll copy the user id into this function this is going to return to me the list of medias and then i will be passing it to the comment the second parameter is the comment that you want to make so i'll write this is very nice i like it done so now we also finished commenting on a post now what else let's see how to get the list of followers of any account to do that i'll say my bot there is function named get user followers this one and I have to pass the username whose followers I want to get. And I will store all that followers into a variable 
followers list also we'll get the list of followings following underscore list my bot the function is get user following and pass the username this followers list is a python list it contains a list of all the people who are following the particular user so in order to print all these user ids i will have to loop through this list and for looping through this list i will use a for loop so for each follower in followers list print please note that it is going to be the list of user ids not username so there is also a way to get the username from user id like how we did get user id from username same way there is another function called get username from user id and i am just using that and i'll pass this each follower over here similarly i will do for the other list now i'll change this each followers to follow and after doing this it will print one by one all the users but before running our bot i'll try to make it as human as possible and to do that i will just add some delays between each operation so for delays i have used the inbuilt sleep function and i have put that between each operation like sleep for 60 seconds then the next operation and then again wait for 20 seconds and then next operation so it will look as if it is a human who is performing all these operations now over here i am getting the list of all the followers and i know that this account has more than 150 followers and followings i will just print 5 each so for that i will require index of each iteration and to do that i will use the inbuilt function called enumerate it will be returning the current index of the iteration and the value so we'll enumerate this list i will take the index inside the count variable and i will write if count is greater than 4 continue so when the loop starts it will it will check the condition first then it will sleep for 5 seconds then it will print the follower it will keep happening until the count exceeds 4 so by that we will be just printing only 5 followers and 5 followings so i will be doing the same thing for followings now finally we will run our bot i'll come here we'll type python I will just show the execution very quickly because we have put delays in between. So it's running. And you can see it's printing the followers and the followings. And done. Now while running this code, I found there were two errors. I had put try and accept blocked in order to catch the errors, and I found two errors in liking and commenting. There was error in our code, so I'll just fix that error very quickly. So while liking the post there is one more parameter called filtration which is by default true so it filters out the medias based on some default settings and we need to avoid that so what we will do is we'll put filtration is equal to false then it will avoid the filtration and for comment as i told you that we are going to get the list of medias so this media_id is actually a list it is not a single value but it is going to be a list So the mistake that we did was we passed the media ID as it is. Instead of the list, we will have to pass a particular value inside that list. And in our case, it will be zeroth value. And to get only one value, we will be sending the parameter one to get last user media function, which is the count. So count is one. That means the last post of the user. And it is going to return a list. And inside the list, the value in this zeroth index will be the media ID. So these were small errors that I made. So now after fixing this, we'll run the code again. I'll save this. I'll come here. I'll just come in this so that it should not print again. I'll come here and now I will run this. Enter. And there you go. As you can see, this time I did not get any errors. That means the posts were liked. Even the comment was successfully posted. Now I'll go to my Instagram and I'll show you the results. Let's see. Oh, here it is. You see the photo is uploaded. I'll click on it and you see the caption. This is the caption which I had put. Then you see the follower and following. Yes, you won't see anyone over here because first I followed and I unfollowed them. That's why the numbers are not changed. 
Now I'll show you the message that we sent. Okay, Steve's card. And whoa, the message is sent. You see? And I'll open the profile of other account. And you can see over here that this account has got two notifications. It got two likes and one comment. We liked the two latest pictures and we commented on the latest post. I'll open it and see. Yeah, you can see one like from Coding 101 with Steve. Again, over here, you can see the comment. This is very nice. I like it. And one like also. So coders, congratulations. We completed creating an Instagram bot where we followed, unfollowed, uploaded a photo, sent a message, like and commented on a post, got the list of followers. And using this Instabot package, you can perform many other operations and come up with your own bot. I will be providing the Instabot package document and also my code inside the description box below. If you learned something from this video, then please do not forget to subscribe to my channel in order to be notified about my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video.